Good morning, Katanning. It's another beautiful day to serve in the greatest city in the world. Let's do this. few different projects going on today. We are on Wilson Avenue and got the crew already getting started here. So the homeowner had some paint before and they do not have the paint they thought they had. The whole rest of the house is white so we don't want to paint it white. So quick paint run. Made my second trip to Sherwin Williams. I've officially wasted an hour and a half of my time and much of everybody else's, but they uh, did a lot while I was gone. It's looking good, guys. Got Connie's first time summer surf today. Bradley's back this week. There's Todd, killing it. Look at that. Looks nice. Even kind of matches the rest of the house. The ladies advised me on paint colors before uh, I went and bought paint, so it probably wouldn't look as good without them. Well, I know it wouldn't look as good without them. Connie's the only one left working. We're all just supervising now. Must mean it's time for the next one. Well, this one doesn't even need us. These guys are finishing up, just framing. If we get too many people in there, we'll be uh, gumming up the works. So. We're going to head and finish our third project, and we'll come back if they need us. Okay, this is the yearly job of uh, maintaining the planters downtown. They'll come behind us with mulch, and they should be good for the year. They don't need a ton of work, but uh, just a little stuff here and there. So let's get it done. Got the hardest block almost done. Got Connie going above and beyond the call of duty. She's like doing the whole trail, killing it. Check this out. Oh my gosh, they're super tiny. job guys all done yeah. I think we're all tired you're supposed to be dirty today you did a good job Connie thank you thank you Todd you're welcome. two first timers here not last timers though right, right. exactly okay thank Hard you work, but we'll be back. that's right so everyone else you can do your first time next week we still need more helpers come on out so we had a good little morning here in Wick City I'm especially excited about today because it kind of represents the shift in summer serve that we have that going on this year and we've always done the yards, those kinds of things, but um, the fact is that yards are only, if you cut them, they're only good for a couple weeks and then you gotta cut them again. But when we do a project like this, when we can do a porch like this, this is gonna look good for the next five, 10, 15 years. And so uh, that's the kind of stuff that we wanna be doing. And what's really exciting is if you're driving around town, I saw not only us working, but Habitat working on two different houses. I saw some people uh, working on painting the Wick City Saloon. And there was a couple more houses right there. One was putting on stairs, another one was doing some painting. And so there's a lot of things happening around town, more than I ever really remember seeing before. And so, you know, maybe something's starting to shift and maybe it's time for all of us to kind of begin to band together and try to complete some more of these projects. If you saw yesterday's video we also just got our power washer and so that's something that we've been waiting for as well what's nice about that is there's a lot of houses around town that just need a good washing and they're gonna look really really great they look just as good as that house we just did and it's less labor intensive it's less uh, work and it's still long-term impact so it's a win-win for us we're walking around town talking to homeowners uh, trying to get people to allow us to help them with their property and uh, hopefully as we do, uh, they'll start to join us on our on the next one, and we'll be able to kind of create an avalanche of uh, giving throughout our town. This 
just heard from Kevin as well. Uh, Habitat, along with uh, Kevin from our church and Brandon, actually just finished up this project too. So they'll be ready for concrete this coming week. It's all framed out now. All the rest of the rock that was needed is in there. And that'll be one more off the list. So I'll have to double check the numbers on Monday, but I believe with our work and Habitat's work, we should now be about five houses in for this summer. So uh, five out of 246 doesn't seem like a lot, but that's 2%. And if you can do 2% every single month, guess what? Four years from now, the blight problem is gone. So that's our plan. Bit by bit, project by project, we're gonna continue to make incremental improvements to the city around us. We're still figuring out how to work in a new way because we're used to just doing grass. We're used to doing things that are more maintenance projects. And so now that we're doing these kinds of things, we're, we're still trying to figure out what's the best way, what's the most efficient way to work. So if you have any ideas for us, if you see anything that we could be doing better, if you see a way that we could be working more efficiently, please put it in the comments. Also, we could use many more hands. Come on out and help us. And as always, thanks for watching. We love you, Katanning. See you in the next one.